Welcome in this next video part of the iOS application attack service. In this video I will cover application logic. So what is application logic? Application logic is all the business logic built in an app. So as a pen tester you should understand the functionalities of an app and try to create abuse cases. And then you might be able to bypass some of these business logic or do something which was not intended. And also client side constraints is a good example. Because all validation should be done on the server side. Because what we already saw in the previous videos. We can just alter an app. Do also part of the application logic can be some security checks. Or some default checks you need to bypass. As a pen tester to test the other functionalities. So for example jailbreak detection and anti-debugging protection. If you want to debug an app or use Frida for example. Then you might have some countermeasures you need to bypass. Then let's start with an example. Again, I'm using this damn vulnerable iOS application, so you can find it in the workbook. And within this application, you can open the menu and then click on runtime manipulation, start challenge. So in this case, we have some login methods. And maybe there are some application logic issues which you can use to bypass this functionality or change this functionality. And to solve this challenge, I'm going to use objection. You can already see an example. So this part, iOS hooking, I'm going to use. So it's using FIDA to hook to functions and methods. You can also change the return values. So in the pen testing basics, we created FIDA scripts. But you can also use this objection to do this. So in my case, I'm using a lab device on mobile hacking lab. I'm connected over the VPN. And USB is enabled. So if I do Frida PS minus USB and then give me all the active processes, we can find this damn vulnerable iOS application. Then I'm going to connect via objection. So you can type objection, then minus minus gadget is, and then we can specify the name of the application and then explore. And before you do this, it might also be a good idea to use Frida Trace or maybe do some static analysis via Ghidra on the app. Let's say we just want to guess if there is some method or class with the name login. So then we can type iOS hooking list classes is something. But this will list all the classes of the app. So I don't think this one is very useful. So found 33,000 classes. So we need to narrow this a little bit down. So let's say we want to use for classes with the name login. And then there are only 31. So that's a little bit better. And then the last one seems interesting. Login validate. Then the next thing we can do is iOS booking what's class and then login validate. And this will monitor the usage of this class. So kind of similar to Frida Trace. And it also tells you already the methods of this class. So this is a Boolean is login validated. Now I'm going to use this app. I click on login method one. And then you can see some output called login validate is login validated, which is a class of the type NS object. And then we can do iOS hooking what's and then method instead of class. And then we need to specify this class and method and we also need to prefix it with a plus so it returns a boolean type and we can also specify dump args and dump return and now I will do the same thing I click on login method one and then then we get some more output called login validate login validated return value OX0. So OX0 means false. And 
we might be able to change this zero function to a one and to manipulate this function without writing a script we can do ios hooking set return value which is only possible for a boolean but that should be fine in this case then again then again we need this method signature and then we can just specify true or false but then we can just type true like this and then it should change the value from 0 to 1 and let's try this again and now it says you have successfully bypassed the authentication check and then within objection we also get this nice message return value was 0 overriding to 1 and similar to this is login validated check this app has also some checks for jailbreak detection and anti-routing so those checks are quite similar and you can use different techniques to bypass them so there are a couple of workbooks related to this video so please look into the workbooks and also try if you can bypass the other checks so we have a few workbooks you can try yourself if you can bypass some of the checks so for example for this debugger detection we also have a lab called Captain Nohook. So also check this lab out to practice more with it. And hope to see you in the next video.